In this lecture, we are going to create a program in C which adds two numbers and prints the result on the screen and then use the GDB to step through the program. So in here, we create a file. Let's name it add numbers.c and we include the stdio.h and the int main and we return the zero so first we create a variable let's name it a which would be equal to 10 then we create another variable called b and put the value 20 in it after that we create another variable let's name it c and c would be equal to a plus b and then we print the output in the decimal representation we and going to the next line so all of these things you already know in the previous lectures but the main purpose of this wasn't to just print something on the screen but like all the other lectures we want to prove something so i just compile compile it using the gcc and pass the ggdb flag so that we could uh, see all the symbols using the gdb so add numbers.c dash o and name it the add numbers and we execute the program and we see 30 in here now i use the gdb to open the program again we first break at main and then run it i also want to uh, change the disassembly format to Intel in here because the default like almost all the others like uh, Objdump or other program the default disassembly format is at and so I change it using the disassembly set disassembly flavor to Intel and hit Intel now if I say list we could see all the codes on the screen what I want to do is to only disassemble the uh, programs, the main instructions in the main that we wrote. So I open it again. These are all the instructions in the main function. I just want to disassemble these instructions. So I said, I said this assemble and then main. And these are, this is actually the first instruction equivalent to all the instructions in the main you see when i said run some other instructions have been executed not only in this section but also in other places that's why the size of the file is actually bigger than if we had created this using the assembly so the first three instructions in here let's have a look at them and then we start uh, just analyzing all of these other instructions First, I say push RBP. We push the RBP to uh, restore or the store any value that RBT has and later to restore it because we want to use RBP register for other purposes and we don't want the content of RBP to be lost. After that, we get to move RSP to RBP. Let me open another file in here and I want to somehow show how a stack changes. So right now we have moved the RBP value into a stack and right now the RSP is pointing to, let's say, this position in here. The next instruction says move RSP to RBP. So we want to move the value in the RSP um, register which is pointing to here to the top of the stack to RBP. Therefore, RBP would be equal to RSP. After that, we say sub RSP 0x10. 0x10 in hexadecimal is equivalent to 16 in decimal. And we know that because a stack grows towards the lower addresses, so subtracting the RSP by 0x10 means that we are increasing the stack length by 16 bytes. Therefore, the new RSP in here, the new RSP would point to this address and the difference between RBP which is last RSP and the current RSP would be 16 bytes. So in here if I say info registers RBP 
we would have the last RSP. So I just copy it. And I think it would be a good practice that when you are working and reverse engineering a program, because the main purpose of this lecture, as I said, is to, of this module is to make you ready for the next modules, which are reverse engineering and exploit development. So I just copy this here. And then we also say info registers RSP. This is the new value of RSP. So I copy it and paste this in here for the new value of RSP. I also open another shell and enter the Python interpreter. And let's calculate the difference of these two, which definitely be, would be uh, 16. And since we are uh, just going towards the lower addresses, so as you see, this is E180 and this is E190. Well, without even calculating, you would know that this would be equal to 10 in hexadecimal or 16 in decimal. So I say int, but because we need this, I just want to calculate it uh, one time and then we just copy paste it again. So int of this hexadecimal value to convert it to the base 16 and uh, to base 10 and minus 16 bytes. And then I convert all of it to hexadecimal representation and hit enter. As you see, we have E180 with 16 bytes and this is E180. So the difference is 16 bytes. Now, next instruction in here, after we have uh, increased the size of the stack, this, this would be the first instruction. It says move the value of 0xA, which is 10 in decimal, to RBP minus four. Now look at the source code. The first instruction says assign to variable a, a value of 10. So a memory address would be assigned to a variable and number 10 would be saved in it. This is the equivalent instruction. Move the value of zero is a, if you remember in the assembly, we used to just uh, directly assign the number 10 to a register. But when the instructions are a lot, we have to somehow use all the registers. We have to make all of them available for other instructions. So we would assign, so we would save numbers into the stack. And when we want to process them, the CPU would uh, bring all of them into the registers and then do the operation. So at first, the number would be saved in the memory, then B number would be saved in another place in the memory. And when this operation wants to happen, well, because the CPU needs to uh, bring them in the registers, A and B would be saved in different registers and the operation would happen. The same thing is happening in here. First, a memory address would be assigned to a variable and number 10 would be saved in it, right? So what is the memory address? If you look, it's RBP minus four and RBP is just the last RSP. So this is the RBP. If I just copy this, go in here and say this, you remember this is just the RBP. This minus four, this would be equal to this memory address. So I just copy it, go in here and paste it in here. So, or actually just let me say this is RBP minus four bytes. This would be equal to this address as you see E18C, the difference is four bytes. Now, what are we going to save it? In? Save in here, it would be 10. 10 would be, as you see, we have assigned four bytes to save 10. So it would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0A in hex representation. These four bytes would be saved in 0x7FFFFFF, I don't know, E18C to e 19 zero, which is four bytes. So if I just say, uh, if I just copy the value in here, with, which we calculated, this value would be the beginning of these four bytes. So I just copy it. I go in here. If you want to look at the memory address, we use the X command. If I just say one XB and paste it in here, well, you want to see the four bytes, right? So if I, if I say four XP and hit enter, you see we have zero, 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 and zero, zero, because we haven't a step I, we haven't executed this instruction yet. So I say a step I, hit enter, 
and then say this assemble main again and now we are at the next instruction if i run the x command again now we have 0 x 0 a 0 0 0 0 0 0 and all the four bytes have been saved if i just say one byte you see we would have 0 a because the format is little indian which we explain how it uh, affects these memory addresses in here after that it says move number 0x14 which is equivalent to 20 in the decimal to rbp minus 8 so we would want to use another four bytes of the memory right so in here what we are going to say is to say this rbp value minus 8 which would be the memory address of 188 so this would be rbp minus 8 would be equal to the new memory address of this so from e188 to e18c which would be also 4 bytes we would have 0000000, 000, 000, 000 and 14 again i'm just converting it to the big indian format but actually we would have 14 at this memory address and then three bytes of zero so again we have copied this if i just look at this memory address we would have zeros but if i step i and then look at this memory address we have 0x14 and then three bytes of zero so after this we get to the next instruction let me just disassemble main again now it the rip is pointing to this address and it's time for the operation right after those we need to do the operation so it says move the value which is saved and it's if you look it says the d word move the four bytes which are saved in rbp minus four into the edx register now let's have a look the four bytes in the rbp register at this memory address are this value right 0a it says move this to edx register so right now if i say info registers edx and hit enter well we have some random value in here now i say a step i hit enter disassemble the main again or just look at the info edx register and as you see we have 10 or 0 xa in the edx register so you see this has overwritten the garbage value that was in the edx register after that we get let us just say disassemble main again now the rip is pointing to this address uh, also instead of just uh, all the time saying disassemble main you could just say info registers rip and it would be just 4663 which is this address now it's time we say move eax the value in the rbp minus 8 we want to move this value inside the eax register as you see so if i say info registers eax we see some random value in here i say a step i and again info register and as you see we have 14 in hex or 20 in decimal now we get to add eax and edx which is equivalent to add 0x14 and 0xa or, or add 20 and 10 which would be equal to 30 so i just say a step i so that this would happen also and now rip would point to this address what it says is that mm, save the eax register inside this address c in hex is equivalent to 12 right so rbp minus 12 let's say rbp minus 12 would be this address right so i just save it go in here and say rbp minus 12 would be equal to this value and the content would be the addition uh, would be the actually let me have a look so what this ad says is that move add the eax and edx and save the result into eax register right it's an intel format so i just say info registers rax pay attention that from 
20 in decimal or eax it doesn't make any difference it has been moved to 30 right so after the addition uh, we want to move the 30 inside this new address therefore in here it would be 13 so 13 in the uh, decimal would be equal to 1e therefore we could say 0 0 0 0 0 0 and then 1e right so the memory address would be x for xb and then if i paste it and hit enter well right now we have some garbage value right at this new address we have some garbage value but but if i say a step i so that uh, so that this would happen this assemble main so that this instruction would happen so i hit enter this is the garbage value i say a step i and then look at this and we have 0 x 1 e and 3 bytes of 0 which is exactly what we predicted in here therefore the uh, instructions all of them has happened and now we get to the print f so if we have a look we have other kind of instructions in here and then we have a call this address which is actually to call the print f and then this print f would happen and we would have 30 on the screen so as you saw all of these instructions uh, were translated to these instructions in the assembly until we had uh, the result printed on the screen